Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com and now I'm going to finish up the, our look at the Four Horsemen by taking a look at uh, Kirk Hammett's second solo. Um, now I think a lot, Dave Mustaine actually had something to do with these solos. Um, apparently in interviews he said like the beginning, especially the second one, which the earlier solo was written over a section that I don't think they kind of added later, right before the recording process when uh, Mustaine was no longer in the band. But um, to this one though, I think a lot of it um, kind of sounds like some Dave Mustaine type stuff. And, uh, you know, Kirk, you know, started it with his stuff and then kind of did his own thing with it. Um, so anyway, let's start here. Uh, we're still in standard tuning. And we start with this really cool little disjointed lick. All right, so let me actually turn that effects off again. So we have uh, 12 on the low E, 13 on the A, and 14 on the D. So I just go down, down, up for that. And then just do that same thing on starting on the A string. And then on the D. And then starting from the G. All right. Um, so, and then we go into this uh, kind of really fast lick, which is very repetitive, though. It sounds like this. All right, so what is going on there? It's kind of similar to a, um, to earlier in the, the song where we were doing this tremolo picking. What he's doing is he's going to be pulling off 15 to 14 on the high E string. And then just really tremolo picking the, the, the 12th fret, which would probably turn out to be just hitting it twice. And then he does the same lick. So it... But I don't think he's really thinking about that. He's just really doing that pull off and then just hitting the 12 a few times and then coming up here and doing the pull off between 17 and 15. And then back to the 12 a few times. So this. So you just have a blast with that for a little bit as soon as you lock it in. And then some bends there at the 15th fret there on the B string. All right, now we get to the old standard blues lick. So that's done like eight times. So it's just gonna be the 12th fret on the high E string and then pull off 15 to 12 on the B, and then that bend there at the 14th fret on the G. So, we have the... so it's just a repeated four note lick. And that from there goes into this. So that's a really cool little lick there. So what he's doing there, he's basically, he starts out with the 12th fret of the upstroke on the 12th fret on the uh, high E string. Then we get, actually get to the pattern that he's going to repeat, which is going to be, uh, it starts to going across the E blues scale. So there's going to be a pull off between, from 15 to 12. So pick a downstroke, pull off 15 to 12, then play down up on the 15th to the 12th fret on the B string. So pick those two notes, down to the 15th fret on the G, then up on the B string, 12th fret. So that's the actual lick. So you might want to just practice that a little bit, just repeat it. Then he basically takes that same exact lick and now starts it on the B string. So he's like done this before. He takes the same pattern and he just takes it across strings. So um, now he just sticks with the standard E minor pentatonic though. So the 15th fret on the B string on the G string has now become the 14th fret. So we have this. So imagine this same pattern, pull off, pick. He's gonna do that now starting from the B string. So pull off and then 14, 12 on the G, down to 14 on the D, back to that 12 on the G. So that pattern now there. So you might just want to practice those individually, then put them together. And 
And then you're going to end it, he just kind of extends the pattern. So he just starts with a pull off on the, starting it on the next string down, the, so pull off on the G string, 14 to 12. But then he just goes, picks all the way down through the scale because he's kind of ending the lick. So picking 14, 12, and then 14, 12 on the A, and then 15 on the low E string and slide it down. All right, and then he comes back up by doing this. So that's a quick little slide into the seventh fret on the low E string, to the fifth fret on the A, and then slide into the ninth fret on the A, to the seventh fret on the D. All right, from there we're gonna do a quick little pull off between nine to seven on the, from nine to seven on the D. Back to that nine on the A. Then hammer seven to nine on the D and to the seven on the G. So we're just. And then some bends at the ninth fret there on the G. All right, now we have this next phrase which uses a lot of tremolo picking. All right, so that's the 19th fret there. Start, start tremolo picking that 19th fret on the high E string. And then do the pull offs from 22, pulling off to 19, while continuing that tremolo picking. So we just so do that six times, and then end it with the bend at the 22nd fret. All right, now we go into this next section, uh, which kind of takes this, is really, Got a pentatonic bass up here, and it looks like this. All right, so it's kind of fun to play as soon as you get up there. So after this tremolo section, you know, once again, start with an release that band and pull off to the 19th fret, and then we actually start the pattern. So the pattern is it's all really built around triplets. So we're gonna um, we're gonna pull off it's 12, 22 to 19 over to 22 on the B, and then come back to the 19th fret. So really the top one of each, the, uh, there's kind of like groups of sixes, if you want to think of it. And the, the first two notes of each six are pulled off. So we have pull off, and then you're going to pick the rest, which is the 22nd fret on the B, upstroke on the 19th fret of the high E string, and then play 22, 19 on the B. All right, now we're gonna start kind of the pattern again, uh, another group of six. We're gonna now do the pull off, start with the pull off, the 22 to 19 on the B string, over to 21 on the G, and then we're just gonna climb back up the scale, 19, 22 on the B, back to 19 on the high E string. So we have this so far. Remember, every sixth note pattern starts with a pull off. Now we're gonna start the pattern kind of again. We're gonna start on the 22nd fret on the high E string again, pulling off to 19. And this time we're gonna go down 22, 19 on the B, down to 21 on, uh, on the G, back to 19 on the B. So we have this. And then the same um, second group of six that we did in the previous measure, which was pulling off 22 to 19, over to 21 on the G, and then work our way up the scale, 19, 22, 19 on the high E. So it's the same. So this first group of six that we played, and then it was followed by that really coming back to the top of the scale. And then the second, the second measure starts with basically the third group of six. And then the fourth group of six is the same as the second one. <laughs> All right, now this next measure, we're gonna start the exact same as the previous measure. So uh, basically the third group of six. And then you're gonna do that exact same pattern again, but you're gonna start it from the B string. All right, so it's just, you want to try to see the patterns in here, and then it helps you memorize it. So from the very beginning of this section. And 
then you're going to end it some uh, just quick quick bends at the 21 21st fret on the G string. All right, the next little phrase. I'm going to stop there. It's kind of really I wanted to take a look at this first phrase. You're going to slide in you're going to slide in here uh, to the 15th fret on the B string. I'm kind of using my pinky there. So then I'm going to pull off, the lick is this, you're going to pull off 15 to 12, then 14 to 12 on the high E. And we did this lick before, but now we're going to play 14 on the B, and then back to that 12. So it does. So you're just going to repeat that a little bit. So remember, you slide into the 15th fret on the B, and then the 12 on the high E, and then start the pattern. So it kind of does it like four times. But then he moves up here, and this next phrase that just kind of really ends the solo. So uh, it starts with these arpeggios, and I'll show you right here. All right, so this first uh, arpeggio starts with the 15, hammered on to 19, pull back off to 15, back to the 17th fret on the B string. Now I use all downstrokes for that. I basically hammer, I mean, downstroke, hammer, pull, down, and then when I start over, it's just like a little mini sweep. So after you've done that a little bit, you're going to end it with this lick by changing. Instead of playing this E here, you're going to play it an octave lower, the open high E string. And you're going to do that by changing the pattern a little bit too. Instead of making it a four note pattern, it's now going to be a three note pattern. You're going to play 19, pull off to 15, then an upstroke on the high E string. So you just do that two times just to kind of end this little. It's kind of really subtle. And then he continues that same lick. Now he pulls off 17 to 14 on the high E string. And then the open high E. Just pick it with an upstroke. And then move that up to 22, pulling off to 19. Once again with the open high E string. Just do that three times up there at the 22nd fret. And then just pull off 22 to 19, and then... And then like three big bends of the 22nd fret there on the high E. So... All right, so it's really fun to play, but you got to really kind of break it down into those little patterns. It's going to make it easier to kind of grasp what's going on, learn how to get your it up to speed, and then also memorize it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.